hello and welcome to this demo so in this demo we'll be looking at a small demonstration for using the for each enumerator it is uh, <coughs> one of the data transformation techniques okay so let's quickly fire up bids okay so we'll create a new project and call this as for each demo integration services project click on ok so what we would be essentially uh, be doing in this small demo is that um, we'll take a particular folder which has some files in it and we are going to read from each and every file and push it to a database so essentially if you have say four or five files in a particular folder we are going to iterate that folder five times so and um, take the data from it and finally push it to a database so here is where your for each enumerator comes into picture <coughs> so if you look at the control for for control flow items you will find for each loop container so I'm going to drag and drop this and before that I also need to prepare some input data so I'll navigate to demos files so here we had prepared a excel file so I'm going to just make use of that same thing so let me just create a text file called as say for each demo and what I'm going to do over here is take all the data from this file which we created in our first demo and paste it into this so we have good data now I'll close up Excel and I'll create about four copies four or five copies so okay so once you have this for loop for each loop container let's set this up right click on this and click on edit so if you navigate to your collection option you'll find an enumerator options in this you'll have for each item enumerator ADO enumerator and so on and so forth so we would be interested in for each file enumerator since we are going to enumerate files in this and let me just navigate to demos files demo 4 and here I need I'm basically interested in my text file so I'll give it a star.exe and in my variables mapping I need to store these file names in a particular variable so that um, each time I enumerate through the folder I take the file name store it in a variable and then give it to a data flow task and it does the job of pushing it into a database so this will be repeated five times so these five file names should be stored in a variable each time it enumerates okay so I'm just creating a new variable I'll call this as file path and let it be a string so we have set this up now what I'm going to do is let me just drag drop a data flow task since we are going to migrate data from our text files to a database let me just drag drop a data flow task and let me just edit this so once you click on edit you see the tabs changing over here to data flow so first and foremost what I need to do is um, set up a connection right so our source is a text file so I'll click on flat file connection and I'll call this as file connection and just for the sake of it I need to give a file path name so I'll give this as for each demo.txt and these are the columns and you could also preview the data 
so we have a file connection set up right now what we need to do is we need to tell to configure the file connection in such a way that it's going to read from the variable so in our for each loop container we are storing the path in the variable so this connection manager should take the path from the variable itself right so in expressions if you see in our properties window you'll have a connection string property and if you just look at the variables you'll find your custom created variable over here so i'll just drag and drop this over here and click on okay so what this is basically going to do is that our for each loop container is going to pick a file from our folder store it in a variable and is going to supply that particular file path to this connection manager right so this will be repeated five times as we have around five files in our folder okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll drag and drop a flat file source and i need to configure this so i'll say a flat file connection manager and it's going to automatically detect the columns in it so we'll be pushing this to a database so let me just drag and drop uh, OLADB destination and connect this I'll click on edit and I'll choose my SQL 08 demo DB this is the data connection that I created in my previous demo so I can actually see it over here I'll click on OK and I need to also give a table name so I'll create a new table called as say for each and I could actually change the column names uh, for now I'm just keeping it as it is you could revisit the mappings so these are the available inputs so we have a very um, lame uh, column names over here column 0 column 1 we could actually modify this but let's keep this as it is for now we'll click on ok so to summarize what we did is that we have a data flow task that is going to execute as many times as the number of files we have in that particular folder so we are going to pick up a file name store it in a variable the path actually and supply it to this flat file source and it's going to in turn take the data push it to a database and this whole process will be repeated five times since we have five files okay so let us just debug this package so we could see it flicker a number of times and uh, as we saw in our excel sheet we had around round about 15 16 columns the i mean 15 16 rows i'm sorry and so is so we also have around 15 to 16 rows in our text file and we have five such text files so we should have around about 70 plus rows in our database since it must have enumerated these files one by one taken the rows and actually pushed it into our database so if we just refresh our table we should find our new table that is created and if I select the top thousand rows let's see 85 rows so this is a cool way of enumerating through a folder so that's it that's pretty much how it is and pretty much simple to use the for each loop container Thank you.